Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna bring you five flies that I've got confidence in that will help you catch in spring. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're keeping safe and well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Rhys and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you would like to learn more, please press that red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. So spring is arguably one of the best times to be out fishing, let's be honest. Everything is starting to bloom, there's a lot more life on the water, the fish become much more active Active than they have been in the winter and generally it's nice to be out on a sunny day isn't it so with that in mind let's start say mid-water column and work our way up now because the fish's metabolism has increased it means that those fish are willing to chase for starters do not rule out lures and that's why I'm recommending this a Pickrick Olive Fluff Cat. Now this fly worked really, really well back end of last season for me when we were allowed out. The beauty of a fluff cat, unlike your standard commercially tied lure with a bead, is that every person that visits a fishery generally fishes a lure with a bead. So the fish get used to seeing a lure that's doing this all the time. So if they see that movement, they begin to realize that, you know, that's just normal and that's probably gonna get me hooked. The beauty of a fluff cat, because there's no weight in it, this works very much like a pike fly. It'll just sit there suspended in the water column and how you control it and the line that you choose to use it on will largely decide how it fishes. I'd fish it on say a 12 to 15 foot fluorocarbon leader of seven pound on a slow or fast intermediate. And the aim of this is to find those spring fish that are up for a chase. Let's come up in the water column and let's go a bit smaller. So let's say for example now we are two weeks into the season and you're fishing on your favorite fishery and it gets a hammering so the fish have wised up. What would you go to then? My recommendation would be a fab. Just one fab on its own fished on a light leader. This particular fab I like using is some um, Celtic Blob Company watermelon frits on the front and some F and F fresh and yellow frits on the back. It's a tequila coral fab basically. And the idea with these fabs is fish them small and fish them light. So I'd have no hesitation in fishing this on five pound leader, casting it out on either a sink tip or a very slow intermediate and just inching it back very, very slowly. So if you find yourself at a fishery where the fish have been freshly stocked but they aren't quite chasing lures give this a go instead and then we move up into the smaller stuff so everybody enjoys fishing nymphs and buzzers without a doubt and i'm no different my recommendation for this is an all-purpose nymph so this is basically a mix of a few different flies it's a muskin a diabach a pheasant tail a lightweight nymph and it works now the reason why i'm recommending this over say a buzzer is that a nymph will offer you more variety so let's say for example on your day the fish are being really fussy and they might not necessarily be switched completely on to buzzers. What a nymph can do over a buzzer is offer you more options. So this could be uh, an emerging buzzer, it could be an aquatic insect, it could be a shrimp, a carixia, a snail. It could be a lot of different things, which is why I'm recommending it. So if you want to know how to tie this, I'll leave a link up here for you to follow. Um, how I would fish this, I'd have no hesitation in fishing three of these. On the floating line, 15 foot leader, five foot, five foot, five foot, two size 14s on the droppers and either a size 10 or size 12 on the point. And all you're going to do is fish them very, very slow. Okay, so then we're moving on to the next pattern. Kieran Jenkins' is Cormorant. Now this isn't new, it's been around for years, but as Cormorants go, they don't get much better than this one. It catches fish. It catches bag loads of fish. And if I was on a lake where Cormorants were working, I'd happily fish three of these straight whether that be on a slow intermediate or on a Rio midge tip or an airflow slow tip. This particular version has caught me my biggest rainbow trout off of a boat and you can either fish them straight or fish them as a washing line using the fab that I previously recommended. And similarly with these, I'm fishing these very similar to how I would fish nymphs. So that is an 18 foot leader, six foot, six foot, six foot, seven pound or six pound fluorocarbon. And I'm just inching them back very, very slowly. And the takes you get with a cormorant are often exactly the same as a take with a buzzer. 
Okay, and then finally, a fly for the top. Now, obviously, different parts of the UK work differently when it comes to dry flies. For example, the New Haley, I remember fishing there on Christmas Day and catching fish on dries. Now, if you were to ask me down in Gan Food, would I catch fish on dries on Christmas Day? No. For us, further down south, the takes on the dries tend to come around March, April time. And for me, I don't make this complicated. One single fly, a stripped quill cull, or a lightly dressed yellow owl is all you need. So with this, all I'm gonna do is fish a floating line. I normally fish tapered leader, a shop bought one from either leader or fulling mill. Touch it with a tip ring, and then I've got probably three or four feet of stroft. And I'll vary that anything from three pound all the way up to five pound. Make sure you gink the fly, make sure you degrease the leader. Both of those are equally as important at this point in getting success using patterns like this. So with that in mind, if you would like a refresher on dry fly or buzzer fishing, click on one of these two videos here. And don't forget, if you learned something in this video or you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.